All right, new mod pack project, like, again. So basically I have, uh, it's, you start with stone and you make your way up to everything. So you start with stone, of course, you make a stone crafting table, then you make stone rods and a furnace to make a campfire. Then you can break that for charcoal and you can s uh, cook the stone on a campfire to get, um, the cook the cobblestone to get stone because basically you're starting with a cobblestone generator tier two and a hopper going into this stone chest so that you get infinite stone and you can make stone parts for a stone chest to make a stone hammer i changed the recipe because it makes more sense like you'd have something really like dense and some kind of binding which would be the charcoal and then you turn that into into that and then you crush it dust is then turned into string um which you can put in a barrel for dirt or turn into wool which you can make into a string mesh um you can get sticks from cooking the dirt to s basically separate the wood from everything else uh change the recipe for oak sieve right here you can also make torches because you can campfire cook a stick to make a torch you can sieve dust to get bone meal and you can bone meal combine bone meal with dirt to get wheat seeds you could also sieve dirt for wheat seeds <laughs> And then you can grow the wheat seeds a ton by using bone meal to make oaks and oak sapling. Another way is to use a composter with your first wheat seeds. Um, but I mean, that's the progression. So that's the first one. Also, I added armor made from stone. Next chapter, wooden technology, you get wood, so you make a set of armor. You can make an oak crucible for water to to get clay, so that you can make a clay bucket, porcelain clay, and clay plate, which makes a terracotta plate for a set of armor. You can make a bucket to make a water bucket, and you can make an unfired crucible from porcelain clay, turn that into, fire it up into a fired crucible, then make a lava bucket by getting the lava from the crucible and a cobblestone generator which leads to all five tiers uh you also go here to get a pattern to make crafting station part builder and tinker station wouldn't you get the parts for a comma then you make a comma to get leaves so you can make leafy string to make green wool for a green bed you can also make organic seeds and uh mulch which you can also make from saplings I haven't found a use for these two yet but i'm sure i will soon uh oh. Of course, I added a periodic table chapter because th th I just, because yeah, because, um, why not? So you get all the elements. I also added one w for going through with iron furnaces. Of course, these ones on are like only one needs to be completed quests because you can use either one, see? The goal for this one is to make the rainbow furnace, also rainbow, r rainbow linker, to, because the rainbow furnace actually generates 50,000 RF per tick if all the other furnaces are getting power. I'm not sure what that means, because these don't seem like they can make power. Um, there's, of course, generators that use fuel, so stone, dirt netherrack tin copper invar quartz enriched iron lead signalum and and durium but basically stone iron gold diamond obsidian netherite aldimodium vibranium unobtainium then i added a recipe to make the everlasting generator which with the mod creative tweaks will get the creative accumulator also the that this is obtained from vibranium and unobtainium mixed together of course that I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense. And, yeah. 
And I also added a chapter for solar power. And if I turn editing mode on, you'll see there are there are two um like there are two quests that are going to be included in the progression um but that I haven't I implemented anything into yet but probably will so that's basically what I have for this mod pack so far recapped in 5 minutes